What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Alright, okay, so we can't really see it right here. I mean, I mean, I would show you a ninth badge, but it doesn't say it. Um, so I'm going to show you it right here. Yes, we have nine badges, guys. Defeated Lieutenant Surge while taking a tour of Vermilion City. Can't believe that we have to go get the badges again. So, um... Now, the question is, where do we go next? Now, we could go east, but unfortunately, there's a big fat Snorlax, you know, just blocking the way. So, we have to go north to Saffron City. That's exactly what we're going to do right here. And would you look at that? We're at Route 6, and there's going to be some Pokemon trainers right here. And, uh, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it up to Nessie because he didn't get any battles last night. Or, you know, in the last battle. Or in the last episode, I should say. My Fampy is the cutest in the world! Yeah, I do have a Fampy myself, you know, caught it first few episodes off screen. I think my Fampy's pretty cute. So here we have Pokemon Ricks, or, I don't know, Pokemon Fan Ricks. And he's coming out with his Fampy. And, uh, alright, I'm just gonna bring out Nessie. Nessie, do your thing. Just destroy this Fampy. Now, one thing that you, you, you will notice going through Kanto right here is that the regular Pokemon trainers, their Pokemon, not that strong. You would think they would be a little stronger, but no, they're not. The gym leader's Pokemon, on the other hand, they're pretty strong. They're at a good level. So, have at it right there. And here we have Pokemon, Pokefan, he's just not happy about it. Okay. Whatever. Talk to you. My Teddy Ursa is the cutest in the world! Yeah, I think? Okay. You know, I did have a Teddy Ursa. It evolved. It's not cute anymore, it's just vicious. It mauls the crap out of everybody. Anything it sees. And look at that. Look at that Teddy Ursa. It's a pretty cute Pokemon. Just don't tell my, my, my Teddy because it'll just maul the crap out of me. Let's go with Dragon Breath right here. Or Dragon Burp. I like to call it Dragon Burp. I don't know. I really do. And that Teddy Ursa, ooh, did not feel that good. And there comes that Fury Swipes right there. Ooh, God. Pokemon just destroying me with Fury Swipes. And it's healing up right now. Look at that. It's one of those Pokemon with the berry. Okay, okay. Body Slam. Here we go. Body Slam. Body Slam does it. Look at that. Look at that. How you liking me now? And uh, Teddy's looking pretty good. Okay. And this guy's like, my Teddy Ursa! You've been defeated, bud. Alright, I'm just gonna move along right here. Now, there are some Pokemon right here that you can capture at night. Uh, some rare Pokemon. Believe it or not, you can actually capture a uh, Houndour and Murkrow right around these areas. I think maybe near Saffron. I don't know. Now, if you go right here, this guy is like, the road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. Huh. Okay. And the underground path, Cerulean City to Vermilion City. So that, yeah, Cerulean City is off, uh, off the board right there. So we're going to go straight into Saffron right here. And let's see if this guy needs water. Welcome to Saffron City, home of the Magnet Train. That's what I normally say, but the Magnet Train isn't running right now. Uh, it's not getting any electricity because there's something wrong with the power plant now right here you, you guys are gonna get a clue that yeah there's something going on at the power plant and we need to get over there now here we are Saffron City again after a few months these guys is like you came out from Johto you can zip back in the magnet train when the magnet train is running yeah okay alrighty um, I don't need to kill my Pokemon. I already healed them. And, uh, let's just make a quick tour right here. And, uh, let's see. Mr. Psychic's house. I wonder if he has a Psychic attack. I don't know. Let's see. I got it. You wanted this. The TM-29, which is Psychic. And, uh, okay. Alrighty. TM-29 is Psychic. It may lower the defense or the special defense of the target. Okay, all right, all right, whatever, okay. So, what other Pokemon can learn Psychic? I already have a, a, a Relic learning Psychic right here. Oh, let's see. Um, where are you? We're close. Ah, here we go, Psychic Attack. How you doing? Okay. Let's see. What, who can learn it? Oh, three Pokemon can learn it. Relic, Nessie can learn it. Uh, Kid Thunder can learn it. Wow, this is going to be a tough one right here. I'm gonna save it for later because we might need that psychic attack for somebody else later on in, in our adventure right here. Now, Saffron City, of course, is home to the Silco, and there's a place called the Trainer House in Viridian City. To gather all. Oh, okay. That's a lie. That's a horse crock of a lie right there. Now, like I was saying, this is the home of the Silco, 
And if you guys don't remember, Team Rocket tried to invade it a few years ago. And I'm um, pretty sure many of these people will actually let you know what it is all about. It's like this... Oh yeah, this is Silco, famous for Pokemon merchandise. In the past, Team Rocket wanted a company because of it of that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, it looks smaller. Wow. Welcome, this is Silco's head office building. Okay. And, wow, this guy is blocking the way. He's like, only employees are permitted to go upstairs. But since you came such a long way, have this little souvenir. We got ourselves an upgrade, which, you know, evolves a Porygon into Porygon 2 in a trade. You know, that kind of stuff. It's Silco's latest pro product. It's not for sale anywhere yet. So, Silco's off the board. Can't really go there, even if you tried cheating. I tried it, guys. You can't go there. It, there's nothing kind of a lazy thing I mean I wish they would have put a little more emphasis into the self co you know showing up talking to the president that kind of stuff giving us some kind of like super master ball or something I don't know a little girl who is an expert at mimicking people lives here she even mimics the people she com she's conversing with it's confusing hmm Okay, now there's this guy right here. You talk to him. He's like, going into the alley for the first time makes me very... Okay, seriously. You can see everything right here. It's not really an alley, buddy. Oh, God. Okay. Going up here and talk to this guy. He's like, my daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname, the copycat around here. Okay, alrighty. And this, guy's, this chick's like, my daughter is so self-centered. She only has a few friends. Huh. Okay. All right, so let's go upstairs, and here we have... Wow, she just mimicked me. Draven, hi! Do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking! But that's my favorite hobby. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, that was like the first time I ever talked on screen, so congratulations right there, guys. Congratulations, you, you just heard me speak. All right, so what else is there to do in Saffron City? Hmm. Ah, would you look at this? Saffron City Magnet Train Station. Let's go up here and see what this is all about. Talk to him, and he's like, uh, The Magnet Train is a super modern rail liner that uh, uses electricity and the magnets to attain incredible speed. However, if there isn't any electricity... Yeah, there isn't. Talk to this guy. I'm so sorry, but the Magnet Train isn't operating right now. Yeah, he's not offering to take us on his back. That is hilarious. Okay, so there's something big going on right here, and, uh, well, there are, oh, there's still two gyms here. That's cool. All right. So, let's see. Talk to this guy. Went to the gym, running for battles against trainers. It turns out I stumbled into an unused gym next door. Boy, was I pretty embarrassed. Okay, well, you should be embarrassed. Let's see. So, as you can see, this is the, well, the karate dojo. Used to be one of the main gyms in Saffron City until, you know, Sabrina kicked him out because, you know, psychic type Pokemon. Talk to him, he's like, hello, Karate King. The dojo, or the fighting dojo's uh, master is in the cave uh, in Johto for training. Hmm. What cave? And if you guys remember, we got ourselves a, I think a Hitmonlee? Maybe a Hitmonchan? I don't know. Defeated him, and we get this. It's the Focus Band. It's a very good uh, item, you know, to keep your focus and stuff. And, uh, yeah, you guys weren't mistaken. Gym battle number 10 is right here. We're going to go up against Sabrina right now. Now I'll talk to this guy. He's like, yo, champion of making. A trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to uh, deal with psychic type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. Okay, all right. So if I remember correctly... This is one of the most confusing places in the world. So now, okay, you know what? Nessie needs some battling. We're going to be taking on some psychic type trainers. The power of all those defeated comes to me. Okay. It's kind of weird, but okay. Here we go, and we're, wow, wow. We're taking on Medium Rebecca. And she's coming out with her drowsy. So we all know how to defeat psychic type Pokemon, right? Doesn't need, doesn't take a genius anymore. So let's go ahead and get that body slam going. Body slam, kicking butt right now. That's right, body slam. And that body slam just does some work right there. Oh yes, lots and lots of work. Teddy kicking butt. Not really, but you know what I mean. Teddy's kicking some butt right now. So I'm gonna stay with Nessie right here, and we're gonna go up against that Hypno. Bring it on, Hypno. Just bring it on. Alrighty. I'm gonna go with that body slam again. I got to. I have to. 
Look at that. No, it doesn't take... Oh, it paralyzes him. That's good. That's good. All right. So we're working with something right here. And, uh, oh, God. So no more body slam? Okay. All right. So let's go with that dragon breath. Fuel the wrath of my burp. That's right. It's like a burp right there. Oh, that burp didn't do anything, but you're fully paralyzed. Didn't like that, huh? Really didn't like that. Okay. Bye bye and more experience points. I, I love that. I, I really do. Okay, so medium Rebecca has been defeated. Strong. Far too strong. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, let's move on right here. Of course, there's, well, there used to be a trainer right here. Now, if I'm mistaken, or if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm gonna battle everybody right here that I can. The fighting dojo next door once was the city's gym. Huh. That's pretty cool. Then what happened? I mean... I, I, I wonder. I'm pretty sure you're going to tell us the story, Jared, okay? So, here he comes with Mr. Mime. And, uh, well, I'm going to go with Nessie, because Nessie's a pretty good badass right here. He's a big bunch of a Pokemon right here. And that Mr. Mime doesn't feel so good right now, because he fainted. Because it's awesome. And he's going to come out with his Execute. Okay. Cinder. Trey, I'm going to use Cinder. Because Cinder can just fry these eggs up. Easily. Like that. Fries. Cinder. Destroy. Fire Punch. That's right. You didn't like that, right? Mm-mm. Execute. Has been executed. That's right. And, ah, oh, crud. Nearly, nearly gained another level right there. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Cinder right here. Hopefully this one right here will give us to level... Uh, get us to level 53. And this Pokemon right here is just uh, looking at me. He's like, you killed my brother. Well, here we go with the flame wheel. Flame wheel. Oh, I love that sound. I really do. Love that sound. And uh, yeah, execute. Execute. Defeated. And uh, wow. Nearly get to level 53. Okay. Never mind. I was no match. Yeah, you really weren't. He's like, Karate King, the master of the fighting dojo, was... Just destroyed by Sabrina. Okay. I gotta meet this Sabrina individual. She sounds like a she sounds like a cool person to hang out with. Also, I, I think she's pretty hot. I, I, let's let's see what let's see what what we got right here. Okay. So psychic power is the power of your soul. Is it? Is it really the power of your soul? I want to know. I, I really want to figure that out. So here we go, Franklin. Coming out with this Kadabra, because Kadabra has a big old beard. But here we go with Teddy. Teddy goes with Faint Attack. It's a little bit easier now because we got Dark type moves, right? Yeah, got Dark type moves. Look at that. Kadabra defeated. Destroyed. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you, yeah, I'm loving that. I'm loving that right there. Franklin is like, your soul has more power than mine. It does. It really does. See, you made your soul stronger, not just your abilities. Okay. Uh, okay, so excuse me while I confuse myself. I already battled you. I'm going to go right here. I already battled you, so I'm going to go right here. And I didn't battle you, so I'm going to switch it up right here. All right, this is... No, you know what? That's a risk right there. That is a huge risk because, of course, Toxic Batman is a poison type Pokemon. It doesn't even have a dark type move at all. I think I took that bite attack away. I don't know. I did not read that. I really didn't. Okay. Here we go. Going up against a grand or medium Doris, and she comes out with her slowpoke. That's right. Bring it on, slowpoke. Let's get this. Shadow Ball for the win. Yeah. A true ghost type attack now. That is awesome. Easy, easy. Hmm. Well, that's a few experience points right there. And she's coming out with a slow, bro. Alright, bring it on, bro. Let's do this. Alright. Let's go with that Shadow Ball. That's right. like the sound of that. I really did. I really like the sound of that. And, wow. It, took, uh, it just takes away. It, it, like, I, I seriously thought that I was going to beat him. So I'm going to go with that Headbutt. 
just finish him off. Don't want to waste that uh, that shadow ball right there. And uh, more points. Teddy, you're you're growing without doing anything. Doris is just like, thought I read you. I still lost. You did lose. Uh, you, 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 you did lose right there. And uh, I'm gonna go right here. Oh, look at that! I got it right. I got it right, guys. Okay. Now we're gonna be taking on um, the sexy, the uh, mm, wonderful Sabrina. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Sabrina, Daddy's home. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on to anyone who, did, who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. All right, bring it on. Bring it on, wifey. Okay, so here we go. We're taking on Sabrina. Mm, 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 mm. The psychic type gym leader. And she is coming out with her Espeon. Look at that Espeon. Now, we're not going to make the same mistake like last time. We're going to do this right. So, going on to the next screen right here. Now, if you guys remember, in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, she does have four Pokemon. Kadabra, Mr. Mime, Venomoth, Alakazam. You know, that kind of stuff. And in Pokemon Yellow, she had Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. All of them at level 50. Now, this is what I don't get. How in the heck... Are her Pokemon weaker? So here are her three Pokemon. Espeon, the evolution, does have one psychic type move. Mr. Mime got a little bit weaker. Three time three uh psychic type moves. And her best Pokemon, Alakazam. How did you get weaker? I don't know. Three psychic type Pokemon, they all have psychic attack. They like to use reflect or barrier, and uh yeah, just to make things a little worse for you, they kind of like to use recover, I don't know, quick attack, baton pass and that sand attack so going back here I'm gonna go with that faint attack and well of course Espeon's a little faster than my Pokemon and luckily look lucky for me faint attack does not miss at all so I could use Teddy right now on every single one of these battles and will not lose because it is a strong Pokemon but look at that psychic attack yeah it's a pretty strong attack right there and wow took a lot it took, it took a huge chunk out of my Teddy right here so, come on, come on! Oh, nearly beats him. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with return, and wow, please do not faint. If you faint, I swear to God, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, no, you didn't faint. So, here we go! Return attack. Yeah. You didn't like that one either, huh? No. And Teddy grows to level 49. That's right. Go 49ers. And, he, and she's trying to learn snore? No, oh, really. Yeah, we're not gonna learn that. Uh, yeah, we're not learning that. And here she, here, or Sabrina is gonna be coming out with her Mr. Mime. So I'm gonna switch to Cinder. I'm saving the best for last, guys. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing here. I really do. Now, th again, we're going back to the whole gender gender thing. If Mr. M if a Mr. Mime is a female, then why not just call it Mrs. Mime? I don't know. I would totally nickname it that. Fury Cutter. That's right. Fury Cutter. You guys didn't know that bug type moves work on psychic type Pokemon? That is amazing. Didn't know that. Till now. Fury Cutter again, and it gets only stronger. Yeah, you could use all those barriers all you want, but this barrier or this fury attack right here is just gonna go super strong. Every single attack, super strong. You can't avoid it. Wow. I thought you could only use barrier one time. Come on. Fury attack again. Bye bye, Mr. Mame. Bye bye. And look at that. Level 53, finally. You know, I've been working for that one right there. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. Sabrina's coming out with her Alakazam. So, let's go to the Pokemon that we've been waiting for. Weighing in at 49 pounds. I'm just guesstimating right here. Relic. Against Alakazam right here. You look at that. It has four A's in its, in its name right there. Let's go. Shadow Ball. That's right. Shadow Ball for the win. Will it win? It will win. Look at that. Defeated you. Oh, yes. Easy. Just an easy victory right there. So, there's another win for us. Leader Sabrina's like, your power. It far exceeds what I have foresaw. Maybe it is impossible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself the Marsh Badge.
Can I get a date with you? I mean, I, I'll take that. So there it is, guys. Badge number 10, the Marsh Badge. Hello, hello. The Marsh Badge draws out your subliminal powers. Although I have failed to accurately predict your, your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. Does it, does, does it have anything to do with this? You know, like, you know, you and I... Yeah, I'm going to go because, you know, I, I'm making it worse. So, yes, we won. We are the champions yet again, and we're, I'm not going to sing, guys. Trust me, I'm not going to sing. I know that you guys don't like me singing, and I'm trying to figure out how to get the heck out of here. Uh, <laughs> come on. Oh, okay. Um, I know where I know where to go to next. Um, right here. Yes, okay. So, we're the champs, guys. We won. Ten badges and all, and uh, this guy's like, that was another fantastic battle. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, so we have a few options right here. We can go east to Lavender Town. We can go west to Saffron City. Or we can go north to Saladon City. Now, the next episode, um, probably I might go for another gym battle right here. I, I'm thinking about doing another gym battle. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to sleep on it. I don't know. We're just going to sleep on it. So, thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow is another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys.